The severe thunderstorm warning, the rain also. I'm clocking some winds right now on our terminal radar out of MSY, gusting over 60 miles an hour perhaps across parts of the city. These are damaging winds, so we'll need to keep an eye on our power outages across the New Orleans area as well. So when I put this in motion, uh, you can see just how much these storms have ramped up in the past 10 minutes. So the strongest of the winds right now, according to radar, are blowing through parts of uh, City Park uh, and uh, Gentilly soon uh, uptown. You've got it blowing into the quarter and the CBD very soon. Look at this big swath of uh, strong winds over the West Bank, so it could be gusting upwards of 60 miles an hour. Wherever you see these brighter yellows is where the damaging wind threat is going to be at its highest. And so currently it looks like that damaging wind threat is actually going to be a little bit behind the leading edge. Oftentimes the leading edge is where the worst winds are. Radar is saying it may be a little bit further down. Some of these winds are mixing down to the surface is what we call it. And so you're getting heavy wind, you're getting torrential rain and a lot of lightning and thunder as well. And I'm looking at all of our tower cams here. Things have really just gone downhill across uh, the entire metro area here fairly soon. Uh, this is a live look 500 feet up. I was just showing you the shelf cloud. It's long gone because the worst of the rain has now moved. Uh, into that part of the area. Uh, when we look at our metro winds here, we were talking about we gusted to 47 about 10 minutes ago out at Kenner. Now the storm has increased in intensity since then, so that's why we're thinking winds could be gusting upwards of 60 miles an hour across the New Orleans metro right now. So winds are rocking and rolling. You've got the heavy rain. None of our sites are reporting anything substantial right now, but uh, it's one of those things. Have they updated? We don't really know for sure, so we'll wait for these to update and keep an eye on our on our, uh, our winds here across the New Orleans Metro. But we've got two problems right now. We've got strong winds, we've got heavy rain. So the flash flood warning is ongoing and the strong winds are ongoing as well. Now the winds and the strong rain or the heavy rain are not gonna linger for hours and hours. We do think this is moving at a pretty good rate at about 50 miles an hour, but boy, it is coming down right now, all the way down to Jean Lafitte up into the heart of New Orleans. Now, if you're out in New Orleans East, you have probably five minutes before the winds and the rain really start to pick up out there. But for everyone else, it's coming down and our power just flashed here in the French Quarter. So uh, it just shows you and we may be on. Are we on backup power right now? I don't I don't know. It's it's rare when the power goes out in the French Quarter. So <laughs> let's just put it that way, that if we are seeing power outages, we are on backup power. Um, OK, and um, I don't know if the producer um, can get uh, we can check in on the power outages pretty soon just to see what this is doing. But yeah, it looks like this is um, a big wind problem at the moment. So maybe this hasn't updated just yet. You're seeing a lot of green there, but uh, power has been flickering here in the French Quarter, which is telling because as you know, the quarter is all underground uh, on the West Bank here. We do have some power outages reported around Marrero, it looks like um, and maybe over towards Gretna as well and Harvey. So right in there where you're seeing the red. Uh, a lot of out towards, let me get Bell Chase. Yeah, Bell Chase is reporting power outages and I'm not even sure the worst of the storms even gotten to that point. So yeah, we are seeing power outages reported across the area. Uh, let's go back to radar very quickly because um, it is moving. This is the good news. It's moving, but it's causing so many problems as it's intensified right over the New Orleans Metro here with the winds now gusting upwards of about 60 miles per hour. So if you do lose power, and um, it's a good idea to have us streaming on your phone. You can watch us there. Uh, if you lose us on television, you can watch us on WWL Plus, but your best bet is going to be streaming us somewhere if you do lose that power. Now, if we go back to our velocity radar and check in on this, you're seeing this substantial burst of winds here. This severe thunderstorm warnings producing these strong winds across the metro area. Uh, just getting a, a query on these very quickly. Velocity estimated somewhere between 50 and 60 miles an hour more than likely. Now this radar beam is shooting a little bit up into the storm, but I think a lot of this is reaching the ground here. So the worst of the winds just now moving into Gentilly, moving into the quarter, the Marigny, the Bywater's up next, New Orleans East. The worst hasn't quite got to you, but it will be moving in uh, very, very soon as a severe thunderstorm continues to advance across the metro area. Uh, Alexa, how are we doing right now? Any updates? do have that flash flood warning in effect for the South Shore, so neutral ground parking is allowed. Just a reminder, we did get a text from the city. The neutral ground parking is allowed. I know it's coming down really hard right now. It'd be a problem to go out and move the car, but if you have not moved your vehicle just yet and you feel like you can, I would do so because of the heavy rainfall rates that we are seeing across the city of New Orleans and the South Shore with this big storm dumping anywhere from three to five inches of rain in an hour. So seriously heavy rain happening in addition to the very strong wind gusts. We've got the flash flood warning in green 
and we've got the severe thunderstorm warning in yellow. So we're taking a live look outside. You can obviously how, obviously see how hard the rain is coming down on our live camera and I'll switch it over to max two so you can see what we're looking at on radar so you can pinpoint where you're at this morning. Hopefully you're in a safe place, you know, you know, waiting out the, the, the commute for the morning time frame and letting this storm pass by like we were talking about. The storm does have some movement to it. So even though it is dumping a ton of rain across the city and across the south shore, the storm is moving itself. We are taking a live look outside right now. Uh, where are we looking at right now? Mandeville. Okay, on the North Shore, it is a bit quieter north of the lake. The worst of the weather is happening on the South Shore now. If we can take a look at radar again to show you just where the storms are uh, the worst and it's happening across the causeway across Lake Pontchartrain. You can see on the North Shore, it's just light to moderate rain, but the strong storms are happening across the New Orleans Metro and that's where we're seeing the worst of the, the rain, the worst of the wind and the worst of the lightning at this point. That's where the severe thunderstorm warning is and the flash flood warning is from the city of New Orleans down to the bell chase. So both sides of the river will zoom in even more. Kenner to Metairie to over to City Park through Uptown New Orleans. That is where the heavy downpours are happening now and the very strong wind gusts. And we were showing you that feature before of the winds and I can show you just what it's looking like at this point. The velocity uh, anywhere from 40 to 50 mile per hour winds um, coming in there with this storm. So that is some strong winds could knock out some power and we're actually getting some power flashes here uh, in the French Quarter on our studio or at our studio. We've got some power flashes. You know, we're still good on power, but you can see just how powerful these storms are coming in right now. So